When we go through difficult times or different changes in our life, there are times we get tired. And that is when Hasatan comes to attack. Some of us are not on our post. We have fallen asleep. And when we wake up, usually there are all types of evil forces around us that we have allowed to come in. Our prayer life is vital. Spiritual warfare is vital. And we must speak life and not death. You know, when we are tired, we give these half prayers and I'm gonna speak for myself. When we're tired, we give half prayers such as, Yah bless my husband, Yah bless my children, Yah bless me when I'm going to work. But we don't go into intercession or in warfare like we should when we are in the midst of the battle. We must draw close to Yah in the dark hours. We must draw close to Yah when all is well, especially when all is well. Why? I'm so glad you asked. Because we can begin to take things for granted and relax thinking that everything is okay. But believe me, the enemy is an opportunist and he will come back in a season we do not know of. Guard your prayer life. Take nothing for granted. Be grateful for everything and in all things, even in the midst of the storm. Hear my cry, O Alua. Attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry out to thee. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou has been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Psalm 61, one through three. Are you in a battle? Has it drawn you away from warfare? Or has it drawn you to be tired? Have you left your post? If so, you may need a reset, a joke, just as a battery in a car would need when it loses its power in order to be revived in your prayer life. Yeah, we ask you to forgive us for not speaking life and interceding as we should. We confess our faults one to another that we may be healed. For the effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Help us to remember we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. When we are in the midst of the battle, help us to wrap our mind around spiritual warfare, getting out of the way of ourselves, our thoughts, our flesh, that your word may do according to what it should do. In the name of Yahusha, Amashiach, Amen and hallelujah.